Hey guys, it's me on day 23. Um, just want to let you know that I went on a run today and it's the longest I've ever run. Um, not well distance wise for sure, but I mean time frame. Um, I'm just gonna post a short clip here about my Vegan. still trotting along. There's a semi coming, so it's gonna be really loud here in a minute. But I gotta tell you, I'm about five blocks from home, and I've only walked about five minutes. Otherwise, I'm trotting. This car's going by, looking at me like I'm freaking insane. You know what? I think kiss off. I'm running, and they're in a car. Piss off. <laughs> Sorry, that's my thought for the day. Piss off, I guess. So, here I am running. Still running. I'm gonna text my husband and say, hey, I see your wife run. Look out the front window. <laughs> As I am running the rest of the way home. Five blocks. Screw that crap. I can run. Okay, see now, so you guys can see from the clip. Um, I actually made two clips and only one um, went on the camera, but um, big girls can run. It's actually more of a jog, but um, I averaged 3.5 miles an hour throughout the whole thing, and it was 37 minutes, and I only walked about yeah, five minutes or so. Um, but when I first started jogging on my, on my route, um, I don't think I'd warm my legs up enough, and I started getting shin splints. So I walked for a few more minutes as I walked, like three or three minutes or so. And then I started jogging and got shin splints. So then I walked like another two minutes. <clears throat> and then I just started jogging from there. Um, and then I felt fine. My legs felt fine. Um, they had like, I would say probably two or three minutes in to the jog, the long jog. They kind of were like, um, almost felt like they wanted to hurt, but they didn't. And then like a minute later they were fine um towards the end of the run when i got closer to my house um my calves started to get sore uh, but i was almost done so i just kind of slowed my pace a little bit but yeah so now i have the you know i ran for over 30 minutes time you know down on my legs now i just have to go to get to the right distance because that was only 2.2 miles and the 5k is 3.2 so I have to go another mile yet so <clears throat> what I think I'm going to do is either tomorrow at some point when I get a chance take out my phone that has my little GPS tracker thing on it and bike a route try to find a bike a route on my bike um that's 3.2 that I can do I'm um, jogging that's near my house here or I can do the route that I did, the original 5K, and I guess I can go run that too. Um, probably won't do that tomorrow. I'll let my legs rest till tomorrow, and then Saturday I'll do that. But, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Um, then when I got home, um, I had um, supper, and I had a, a turkey tenderloin, and then I had a big um, side of salad. Um, there was, some, like, mixed greens and... Romaine lettuce and um, endive and I don't remember what else it was in there. I think that's what it's called, endive. I don't know. There was some weird looking lettuce in there. Um, so I had that um, and then I had green beans on the side. And then I had an apple for dessert because um, I was still kind of a little bit hungry um, from the run. So I've um, been drinking water ever since then. But today went good. Um, kind of more of a lazy day today. Um, didn't get a whole lot of, of things done as far as, you know, on the house, trying to get stuff cleaned out for Nate's um, graduation party, but got everything um, done in the mail that I wanted to get done and stuff, but other than that, just kind of a lazy day. Um, my the two little ones are going to my mom's for next week so I can get some major stuff done without him following behind me and... and getting stuff dirty again, <laughs> which they seem to do a lot. Um, most of my time during the day is spent chasing them around. No, what are you doing? What are you getting into? You know, um, but they're three and four. So, I mean, that's, that's what they do. Um, anyway, but I also wanted to post on here, um, a friend of mine on Facebook from Pennsylvania, whose little girl is my littlest son's age. Um, 
she posted pictures tonight on Facebook. Um, she's been at her goal weight for a year now. Um, and she lost 170 pounds. And I have her before and after picture actually on my computer that, and she's, I think she's my height, maybe a little taller or shorter. I can't remember. She's really pretty. But, um, yeah, uh, you know, I met her after she had had, um, her daughter who was the same age as Bubba. And we were on a mommy board together. Well, we're still on that mommy board. A bunch of us still talk, but, you know, and, and she started in, um, well, she had started before she had gotten pregnant with her little girl, but, um, she started kind of hardcore then after, in 08, um, after she had had her and just, I mean, she sent me her before picture and her after picture. And I use that as my inspiration because if she can lose 170 pounds, crying out loud, I can lose 70. So, um, just want to give a shout out to her. Um, thanks for showing me your pictures. That was awesome. You look amazing. And next summer, that'll be my picture. Okay, well, I'll look a little different because I have longer hair. <laughs> but yeah, I, I will be holding up my, my size 20 jeans and, um, in my... I don't think I'll have a size four, but <laughs> I'll go with a 12 or a 10. I, I, that would do me good. Um, but yeah, so she's in, my, in one of my inspirations. And then, you know, a lot of you guys on YouTube that I watch, um, you know, I watched another lady today that lost a hundred and something pounds, 160 or whatever it was, 180 pounds. And it's like, you know what? If they can do it, good Lord, I can do it. You know, put the right things in your mouth. Drink your juice, you know, you don't need a lot of that processed crap, you know. And, you know, like I said before, it's not like I'm going to give up pizza. And if every once and again I want to go have a crappy cheeseburger, you know, I will wander myself down to Wendy's or something. But I got to tell you, after being, you know, clean eating for this long and to go have one of those cheeseburgers you know, it's crappy. They're going to be crappy. You know, it's not going to be like, you know, fresh meat that you can get from your butcher or, you know, some of the more unprocessed stuff. But, you know, I'm not going to give fast food up completely out of my life. You know, I, there is going to be a time that I'm going to, you know, say, you know what, I, I need a Wendy's cheeseburger. You know, I'm going to go have a Wendy's cheeseburger. It's not going to be the biggest freaking burger on the menu. It's going to be probably a kid burger. And I'm going to get halfway through it and say, you know what? This is disgusting. <laughs> I give the rest of my kids or something. But, yeah. So, I'm not, like, swearing off any other food. But, um, you know, I've learned to eat so much better. And learned things that I didn't know I liked. You know, like Brussels sprouts. Put a little olive oil and some salt and pepper and roast them in the oven. And those little buggers are amazing. I never thought in the world I would ever say that. You know, um, I've had a bunch of ro vegetables roasted up. Green peppers. I never ate those before. Well, I ate them, but I didn't care for them. And now they, I had them in my stir fry the other day. They were good. Tofu. Oh my God, I never thought I would eat tofu. So, I mean, it's just opened up so much more different foods that I like now and you know I've you know like I said this it shouldn't be a diet you know it's a lifestyle change I've changed to things I want to eat I don't want to eat junk I want to eat good stuff if I need a little salty something or other I go get my dry roasted soybean nuts and they taste just like peanuts and they give me the little bit of salt that I need they give me the crunch that I need you know I don't need a potato chip or some other junk like that or if I want to make something like a potato chip I'll slice up some freaking sweet potatoes and make my own potato chips so it's all about choice and what you want to do you know you can either eat that crap and look in the mirror and look at that fat girl all the time or that fat person and just know that you're doing it to yourself. No one is force feeding you that crap. So you can't blame anybody else but yourself. So this is me. I'm taking charge of me. And I'm not going to put that crap in my mouth. I'm going to put the good stuff in my mouth. <clears throat> anyway. Okay. I'm off my little soapbox now. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed my video. And um, my run that I went on today. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow.